Welcome back to our channel. And today we've shot video on IGBT module testing to show you how to do this step by step. As we highlighted in previous videos, be sure to finish these routine steps before testing. Turn off the power and let it discharge for 30 minutes, or you could discharge the capacitor directly. The IGBT module is usually located under the absorber plate and is connected to the driver board through multiple twisty pairs. We're going to measure the resistance of the twisty pairs blue and black, gray and black, red and black, yellow and black individually. Unplug the connector and measure it with a multimeter in ohm range. If the display is infinite or disconnected, the twisty pair is normal. Unplug the other three twisty pairs, measure their resistance respectively, and record it. Let's see what's going to happen with a broken IGBT in the testing. G1 and E1 belong to one pair, while E2 and G2 belong to the other. Set the multimeter in ohm range. The meter reads 1.1 ohms between G1 and E1. On the other hand, it shows 1.4 ohms between G2 and E2. The resistance is not infinite, so that the conclusion is the IGBT is broken. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out in any way, please do give a huge thumbs up and stay tuned for our upcoming videos by hitting the subscribe button. The purchase link for the converter mentioned in the video are given in the description below. If you're interested in this product and want to find out more about it, please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. See you in the next one.